Hi guys, I'm Time for Sleep, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this water shader in Unreal Engine 5. I will leave this project for free in my Patreon, of course, but before starting my tutorial. Thank you so much for supporting me, guys. We reached more than 100 subscribers on YouTube and Patreon, and that's amazing, guys. Feel free to DM me on Discord for commissions or help on your personal projects. So, you need Blender, a normal map, a displacement map, and you can find this on Google easily and on my Patreon. And we need Unreal, of course. So, first of all, tell the cube and add a plane. Right click subdivide and do it as many times you want. And then export as a GLB or FBX. I will go to a GLB. Now close Blender and go on Unreal. Make a new folder named water or anything else now import the plane that you made and just import and wait and then grab and drop anywhere in the world that you made i'm gonna put around there and now import the normal map and the displacement map so now we can make the material i'm gonna call it water material but you can call it whatever you want. So now add a single layer water material output. We will get this, but don't worry, we will fix them. So now add a constant for and place it wherever you like, convert it as a parameter and then call it refraction color. All right, so hold M, make a multiply node and then under the refraction color, Hold S and create a water opacity node and connect it like that and set the default value to 3. And then make a divide node and set the B value to 100. And then connect the divide node to the absorption coefficients. So this is basically how we will control the color of the water and the reflection. So we will make the normal move. So you need a texture coordinate, a multiply node and hold this and call that node normal tiling or tiling normal connect it to the multiply node and we're good and set the value to one always all right so now add the static switch and then search for static boot parameter and then call it use normal and then plug that to the switch value and then we're good and then hold p make two panel and connect them to the coordinate and then for the first panel to the speed you can put negative 0, 0. something and then for a second one, you will choose the this side, the X1, and put something positive or negative, whatever, and put something around 0, 0.0 something. So now you can drag your normal map and then Control C, Control V, and do the same thing under. So now hold M, connect the texture to the multiply, and then connect the multiply node to the normal. And then we good. Uh, you can see a preview of that. We'll try it on the plane. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh. So let's save and then let's check. Uh, yeah, so it looks weird, <laughs> but we we'll fix that. So now set the value of the roughness to zero, and then let's see. Save. And yeah, it looks even more weird, but. We will fix that. So now hold S and create a node called refraction. And always set the value to 1 is very important for the refraction. And then go to the search bar and search for refraction. And then 
set the refraction method to index of refraction, connect the refraction node to the specular and the refraction, but it will be grayed out. Why? Because we haven't set the shading model to single layer water. And then we're good. So now we can save and then you can use that, but it isn't complete and you can add more such as waves. So we will go through that right now. So now get that texture coordinate node and then under that hold S and create a node and call it displacement tiling. And then under the displacement tiling search for static bool parameter and call it use displacement. So we will take the static node that we previously made, hold M, connect that to the texture coordinate and the displacement tiling and always set the default value to 1. And then connect that to the value and connect the multiply to the true of the switch. And then hold P, make a banner and connect that to the coordinate. Hold S and call it displacement speed. So I'm going to set the minimum and the maximum to something around 0.0, .0 or something. And yeah, you can also do that to the normals and then connect it to the speed. Go to the quantum browser and get your displacement, connect that to the panel, hold M and make a multiply node. And then again, hold M and make a multiply node, connect it to the B value and search for vertex normal WS and connect it to the A value, hold S and call it displacement intensity and then set the default value to 1 if you want and then connect that to the B value of the multiply and then connect that to the wall position offset and then we're done actually so this is optional so you can create a constant for and convert it as a parameter and call it water color but it's useless sometimes but it can be useful sometimes so yeah you can make it and just connect it to the opacity not to the base color all right so we are done let's save and then let's go check so yeah we can see the reflection the reflection the normals moving and we can't see the displacement, we will fix that. I'm gonna just put it a bit up. Oh, uh, no, 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 not like this. Like, perfect. And then right click on that material instance and s apply uh, that to the plane. And yeah, you can do whatever you want. So check how I'm doing. And then voila, so that's how you make a nice water shader on Unreal Engine 5. And then the cool thing about that is that you can disable the displacement map so you can have a flat surface or else you can also disable the normal and just have the displacement. Uh, you can customize that as much as you want for suit your game style and yeah, so you can play around with these settings and stuff and the next video is gonna be about interaction with the water uh, so yeah uh, stay tuned and yeah so here you can see the displacement map going through the vertex of the plane and yeah this is a pretty intensive plane uh, you can make a flat plane if you don't need the displacement of course but yeah it's pretty optimized uh, but not the spikes and yeah, you can also put two displacement map to make something like fluid or something. So yeah, you can pretty much do anything. So yeah, feel free to DM me on Discord if you have any question. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.